this strange kind of knot that just popped up. Um, you said it, you noticed it kind of overnight, right? Yes, it just popped up overnight. Just yes. popped up overnight. There's a tendon here called the posterior tibial tendon. He's had issues with that in the past. Um, and then this little guy popped up. It feels almost like, um, it's like spongy. It's definitely not hard in nature or anything like that. So it tells me there's likely fluid in there. So what I'm thinking is the sheath of the tendon, uh, there's, inf or there's a synovial fluid in the uh, tendon sheath or fluid itself to allow the tendon to glide. And then maybe the kind of the trauma, just even walking, uh, caused the, the sheath to kind of start leaking this fluid. And that's why it popped up to the surface. Did you, you know, did you do any excessive activity or have you been walking or working out more or anything like that? I've been that? walking more than normal in my yard. So. Okay, and, and that's uneven terrain, yeah. so that may have caused uh, some of the fluid to leak from the, the tendon sheath, who knows. All right, so here we are. So that's how big this guy is. Okay, All right in here, he's a biggie. So what I'm gonna do is actually numb up back here and then take a needle in this way to suck out and kind of aspirate the fluid. We'll put some suction on there, get out as much as we can. Um, whatever doesn't come out, we're gonna just pop it like a zit. Okay? That's fun. It is a lot of fun. Isn't it crazy we enjoy doing this stuff? Okay, so just cleaning it up. Any allergy to numbing medicines, lidocaine, marking? Just, just grass. What's that? Just, just the grass? <laughs> Well, I think you need a doctor's what, excuse. If you're wondering what's wrong with my leg. Is that what it was? Yeah, oh I was my. using the weed whacker with no pants on. And oh. It didn't hurt. It just like it suddenly got all red. Oh. Now, I mean, that tells me you can't mow anymore or do any weed eating. My wife just said you can put pants on. <laughs> here we go. A little cold spray to be thing. Nice and here we go. Quick pinch. How you doing? Never better, huh? All right, so let's get this nice and numb. Perfect, that's all we need in there. So the girls are gonna set up for me and then I'll be back and we'll get, uh, get popping. Ready? All right, here we go. It's time to get some of this ganglionic cyst fluid out. Do you have any questions before we get started? Okay, so you're gonna go, go home, keep this up in the air, keep the compression on it all night tonight because I really want to prevent the fluid from coming right back because it's wanting to leak from somewhere. Okay. Sounds great. I guess I'm up for making dinner. That's exactly right. Me too. I'm taking, the, I'm taking the night off. I'm grabbing some sushi tonight. <laughs> She's going to love that. I can write it on a prescription pad if you want. <laughs> That's, she'll really love that. Okay, so you just let me know if you feel any pain. We good? I'm not feeling anything though. Okay. Don't change your mind. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. There it is. You can see it coming up in the syringe. Oh, wow, you got a lot in there. You're really gonna. All the viewers are going to love this. You're not going to believe this. You're up to five cc's. I'm almost out of room in my syringe. So I'm going to keep some constant pressure. And the good news is, is this looks exactly the way it should for ganglionic cyst. Do you want to see what I pulled out? Yes, you can see here. Look at that. Now, I would say you probably win for almost the most fluid coming out. <laughs> I need a, That's my prize. I, I know, I'm like, I need a trophy or something. This is crazy. I mean, and to think all of this, it's almost if you think about it, it could almost make like a little ice cream cone. It's quite thick. It is very thick, and it's actually really sticky. So just continue to make a little nice Dairy Queen ice cream cone. Okay. Yeah, that's off my list for tonight. Yeah, no ice cream for you. Okay, so if you can imagine that was sitting 
all around your ankle. So what we're gonna do, let's leave that there. Now for the fun part. I don't know if I got it all or not. I may have. Now when I do ganglionic cysts, aspirations for, you know, all of our viewers, all of mine always come out in the syringe. So people love to see it kind of oozing and popping out of there. But the thing is, is that's a proper technique. If you can get it out with the syringe, that's a way it's supposed to happen. So unfortunately, guys, I'm sorry, this one isn't gonna be super exciting for you because we already got it out. Nothing. Well, that's... And just have exactly one syringe for. Yeah, yeah right. Okay, nothing. So what I'm gonna do is inject some steroid in there to um, prevent kind of any inflammation to the area. Hopefully just kind of get out whatever's trying to go on in there to produce this fluid. So you won't feel any of this, you're already numb. Quick little stick. So sometimes it fills up like a balloon, you'll see it pop right up. Other times it, it won't, but that's why I like compression on there to really kind of collapse that sac that the fluid came from. So there it is again. Now let's uh, just cover it up. Now keep this on till tomorrow. Of course, watch for any signs of infection, redness, any drainage, odor, anything you're concerned with. And we'll kind of take a, a good look at this. It almost feels like... um. Oh, what's the stuff they put in cars? I'm not, I mean, not oil. Like grease? Yeah, like, no, yeah, like a lube that they would use to, and I, I don't know. So that's what it looks like. It kind of looks like apple, almost like apple jelly. Not jam, but more like jelly. So there you go. Another ganglionic cyst aspirated the way it should be done for all you poppers out there. Sometimes I have to do it too. It's okay. Um, if you have anything, a knot or any bump like this pop up, as you can see, we can suck it out in a matter of seconds. So give us a call. Don't forget to ring the bell, sign up for notifications, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.